and welcome back. Uh, here we are again, uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown, same uh, Half Dead team, and we're going to be moving forward a little bit. Uh, let's see, where were we? We have power going, um, we have money, we have our satellite going right, yep, satellite, council report, generator. Let's move time forward. That was fast. Sure. Why don't you guys go take a look? Now, I've done a little tweaking with the audio. I didn't quite like it after the last episode, but I don't really feel like starting over. So, you're going to have to let me know how it is this time, and hopefully things will pan out. Uh, I am recording these in advance, so just FYI, it may take a couple days to see the change, but I'm at least checking. Alright, so... That is how you shoot down a UFO. Now, mind you, that was a small UFO. These guys are good for up to the mediums. The larges are require a little bit of effort. Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on bogey zero. The most amount of people have ever seen a mission. The UFO is down. There are not this many people in mission control, and I know that. I've seen mission. Nice work. Central left. All right, people. Retest recon satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. Why do you want to see the crash site? Range now, sir. It couldn't be like on there's screen. anything left. I mean, we shot it out of the sky. Magnify. You must think that the aliens have, like, harder metals than we do. Oh, wait, hey. Still in one piece. Commander, huh. I recommend Maybe we, we get a strike that team to the crash site our plane, So that way, when they crash, people could possibly survive. Just a thought. At least when they're fighting like that. Alright, so, here we are again, the uh, same makeup as the last time, oh god, we'll try not to get anybody killed this time, I hope it works though. Touching down. Alright, so. Listen up, we're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. Okay. Everybody, we're going to Africa. We've been there the whole time. We haven't left Africa. Yeah, our opening mission was in what? South Africa, and now we're in Nigeria. It's like, oh, hey, guys, let's just stick to the homeland, even though we're funded this by the whole sky, world. We're just north of the crash site. Strike one is in position to engage. All right, clear, big sky. here is half we'll cover, and I didn't go over this Strike last time. I did go over cover. Never mind. Craft. I was going to say, here's half cover, how you can tell half shield, full cover, full shield. There is no quarter cover, so stop asking. Typically, if you're not sure what's going on, you want your people in cover. There's the other guy. There he is. You can't actually make it to cover without dashing. Uh, one thing to always do, always check to find out where the boundaries of your screen are. I mean, if you're in that corner and you're like trying to march that this way, or say for instance, like I tried to march this way from right now, it doesn't actually do very well. All right, oh, that way. So why don't you go ahead and dash? We'll stick you right in front of that person. I do want her to level up one more time at least, but I'm not too worried about it right now. She's still got a, a little while. But I do need these guys to start leveling up. And I need all of them to level up, which is the sad thing, because I keep killing people on my side. Part of it I can blame the random number generator, most of it is just being an idiot. I've got my eyes on. Uh, you can tap through your characters if you're ever wondering. It helps speed things up drastically. Alright, so we heard something over in this area. There's not much room over there, so we're just going to go over there. Interesting thing, ramps do not provide cover, so just FYI. When we have a direction, we try to move the, the guy or girl in back forward first. That way, if they see anything, everybody else can move up to assist. Theory makes sense to me. And we still don't see anything. 
but we heard something. We didn't hear it come from that way. Yep, just as long as you guys can deal the third damage, I don't care. I just want to see somebody deal three. I don't want them to wait until, like, the guy is almost dead. There they go. Target acquired. Somebody should be shooting at them. Uh, Alright, so there are all four of them. For this first mission, there will be exactly four of them. I was going to say, I thought that that was right there. Alright, 48 and 50. 45, 45, 25. 45, 45. And nobody. I stick you there, I wonder if you have a shot at that thing. Well, nonetheless, let's just move over this way. Move you there. So, 45. You have one shot on one person for 45. Take it. You can't shoot. God, I can't wait till they level up a little bit. You are space out of cover. We'll move you over here so we can move you into the cover next time. One shot at the 25, not worth it. You can go to Overwatch. You can kill somebody. Oh, I should probably go over how that works. That's the most frustrating thing in the game to people who don't quite understand it. Um, okay, first thing. I see this a lot. Did you guys notice what happened when I threw the grenade after it exploded? Loaded and the guy's body flew up into the air. Did you see what happened in that area? I mean, just look at it. I can't see it that well. There's smoke there. So many times I watch other people's like videos and they can't figure that out. The reason why you can't actually shoot any or you can't shoot anything in that area is because there's a huge cloud of smoke. You can't see it. You kill something? Nope. Two damage club. <sighs> I really need to figure out how to do a third damage. <laughs> Alright. Well, the plan is to kill you next turn anyway, so I'll be able to show off the uh, other thing. Let's just hope that you don't actually kill me. Oh, what? No! What's happening? No, Why are you panicking? Oh my gosh, killed something! <laughs> we just did three damage! Did anybody else see that? Am I the only one who's like super impressed by the fact that we did three damage? All right, can you get it over there? Well, you can't. So we can't actually get it up. Just saying. Can you finish the job? No. No way that just happened. Skeptical. Super skeptical. Don't really want to be in this situation, but we have to get rid of that person. Still can't shoot him. Part of this is the random number generator, and the other part is just me going, really? Really? But it hasn't done anything cheap yet. Again, I said I wouldn't take advantage of things until it does something cheap. Haha, uh -huh. I had a treat. Guess what else I have? Okay. Remember what I said about people being bonded? Mind melding thing? Not the smartest thing in the world sometimes. Watch what happens. Going out. So if you're sharing all of my thoughts, all of my feelings and emotions, what about my pain and my death? Easy way to kill them sometimes. Alright, now we have the so-called boss. And we're going to have to do this a little bit differently. I don't have four people. Yeah, forget it. We'll do it the same way. Uh, typically, I like to have four people and rush in from two different sides. I guess we're going to be doing this with three. We're going to try and scare them with this character and get them to move into position of 
that's more beneficial for us. By scaring them into the two characters. To withstand an impact like that, at such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any So we're going to rush in and move over here. That should scare the boss into coming this way. But now we're going to go there. As always, never go into it's a gunfight with a half cocked pistol. Let's do this. Reloading. Always remember to reload. Another one of those fun features that what people always that? forget about is that you have a limited amount of ammo. All right, so we have cover there. We should actually be able to sneak up a little bit more, but I think this will do. Enemies in sight. Our readings can't be right. If they were, that's a being of almost pure energy. Right idea. So we should be in heavy cover. I hate this club. How do I get out of that club? Anybody. I think I'm being trolled by the game. Hey, hey. I actually want to see how far you can move. There we go. Alright, so you can't actually do very much, and the fire blocking you from that way. Oh, you're worthless. I know what you can do. Why don't you go in there and be like a leech? Either way, we have a grenade. Grenades are guaranteed 3 damage. Uh, what we were hoping to find in here was the alien power source, and that's this thing right there, but as you can see, it's been blown to pieces. Much like the boss. Damage club. One person broke out of the two damage club for one time. I don't quite understand it. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Alright, so we got her leveled up. She's now semi useful. She can move farther. Uh, the other option is covering fire, which just, if they're gonna shoot at you, she takes her Overwatch shot first. Useful, yes in a way. Um, not as useful as moving farther in the early game. Uh, the we got two assaults. As our front line. These guys the are responsible for pretty fight, much doing most of the entry level damage and whatnot, and are typically, well in theory, supposed to be the ones in the most amount of danger. Um, you would think it would be the heavies because you'd want to have your rocket guy shoot the rocket and then rush in, but just a weird situation. Also, they're heavy. They should be able to tank. Okay, so we got all, all this stuff. Uh, damage things we can sell. They're, and it, I will show you that in a moment. Uh, we did get a flight computer, so that did open up the alien nav system. And the rest of it. We did get this Illyrium, but we have to research some other stuff in order to get that up. So, first things first. This is the gray market. We have one of each, so that's $50. I don't like to sell these unless they're damaged, and you'll find out later on. And I hope you noticed it said that there was no immediate benefit to them, or no research benefit to them. It's kind of like saying, oh, this toy is broken, we don't need it. So, still don't need the med kit. I'm still having a hard time Everything's dying in one shot. The aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Here. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? <clears throat> There must Good be a question. pattern that we haven't established yet. Yep, we'll find out. Alright, so we're going to move time forward a little bit. Alright. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive? Yes. Well, we can't seem Without to kill them in one specimen, shot, so I don't I'm see why I'm afraid we've problem. reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy hmm. I've just completed confirms that Not the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current I don't know, I think that we probably should have, like, close range. had one of the and additional things in this game work? be like, 
gun you butting really think this is worth the risk? I mean, I do. Come on, if, you, if you're in point blank range, we sometimes it's just more effective enemy. to hit something as hard as possible with the biggest stick understand. you can find. If we can capture one of these creatures alive, shoot. we may be able to Especially if you're talking about making things alive. And in Why can't I just knock one out? I mean, if I kill it, who cares? I'm gonna kill it with the gun anyway. Operating from. Yes. That's that possibility thought. outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I could construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Mm. Not to worry. I will see to that. So, right. the engineers worried to about actually talking to the aliens. This is our first conundrum. Alright, so, we finished this one. We now have a new objective and can build a new facility. We will need containment. And we have this priority arc thrower, which we are actually going to be. This technology study. has a number of potential applications. So in 12 days, which I'm sure is the slow, team is eager to begin. we will be able to do that. For now, as as we have something since we have the money, let's go through and get this process taken care of. So this will take seven days, cost us eighty-five dollars, and we need it. I can't do anything else really without it. Left over sixty dollars, which we may have to actually put towards soldiers. How many do we have now? Eight? Eight. We get our sniper back next month. There you go. Mind you, he's a bad sniper. And when I say he's a bad sniper, I don't mean like he's just a terrible person and he's our sniper. I mean that right now, he is a absolutely terrible sniper. We need him to level up ASAP. Alright, we don't have any other construction that we're trying to build right now. When it gets closer to the end of the month, that's when I'll do excavation. Yeah, that Commander, stuff. We're tracking several reported All right, so via here we have I've got the stuff. coordinates locked in. Four different places. We have Egypt, Japan, and France. Let's go take a look at their continent. I still can't believe Dr. Vaughn expects our troops to try to bring France, those things everything in there place. is at three. So Much if we skip alive. France, it will go up one for it being the actual affected site, and the whole continent will go up one. So the whole continent will be at four. Egypt, everything's at one. Nobody cares about Egypt. And I forgot the other country. Japan. Let's go take a look at Asia. Asia looks pretty happy. So we're looking at doing France. Even though France looks like it's, well, technically France is the most panic out of it. So let's go take a look at that. And what did France want to give us? Four scientists, that's great. That's going to speed up the amount of time, and that's actually what I was hoping for, so, yeah. Uh, moderate difficulty, but we should have our sniper back. There's our sniper, two assaults. Uh, and I'm going to switch one of them. A lot of these fights at this point are going to be long range. I'd rather have something that doesn't just fade over time. Uh, the screen I haven't gone over, and we, we will be customizing soon enough. I just want to get everybody nicknames, and then I'll start re renaming them and doing whatnot. Uh, you do want to get in on this, the initial cast will be the cast from Aliens. Beyond that, anybody that wants in can get in. Give me a name. Here's everything that I can change. You can change it to anything that's appropriate. If you're going into other languages, I'm using Google Translate in order to figure out if you're writing like, Anal Butt Plug is your name. Because I don't want a character named Anal Butt Plug. That can be a nickname, but not his name. Oh, no, I'm kidding. Keep things appropriate try and keep them, uh, I say PG-13. Yeah, that'll work. I can say things that are rated R, you have to keep your character PG-13. So, if you've got the game, go through, figure out what you like. If you don't have the game, there are things that will show you what all these different things are. For example, this guy's on 10, here's all the different facial hair. My favorite is probably Grizzly Adams, which is not actually part of this. No shave November, and they can't even give us that. All right, so uh, what else is there going to go over? Abilities, we can see the, their actual growth tree and whatnot. Colonel is the uh, last rank. These two abilities are typically overpowered for whatever they are. And loadout, we can actually go through here and taking a look at these. Like, here's your shotgun information: high critical, but extremely limited range. This is not a joke. 
I'd say 30 feet, no good. I have like a 20% hit chance. Uh, the assault rifle, basically the base. Base of three. Base of three. That means that we have been doing less than the base damage for all but two shots this whole time. I might actually need this just to kill things. Uh, armors and whatnot. This just gives someone health. Pistol. Just as that. One damage with one crit. And does three damage. All of the explosives do a fixed amount of damage. Uh, there are ways to change that damage amount by changing the explosive or different abilities. But yeah, that's it. Alright, so we have this person leveled up to where we need them at the current time. This person needs to level up once. These two I'm not too worried about. But they have better aim than squatty, so we're going for it. Drop ship. I'm sorry, they are squatty. Then the rookies. France is sending an urgent mission request. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. This looks like area. a fun map. I think this is the roundabout map. One of the fun things to do in this game is actually figure out how to completely invalidate the enemy. One of the ways to do that is to take advantage of the map. And I'm not sure if this is... Oh, this is this map. Okay. copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. Yeah, you see all these maps. I mean, there are only so many maps that they could actually put into the game. So, it's not exactly something to be like, Oh, well, he's, he's taking advantage of this map. There's only like seven maps. Well, there's really more like 15 or 17 maps. I don't know exactly how many. They may have like 40, and I don't know. But it just got hot in here. Whoops, went too far. That's okay. All I can think of is the 13th warrior. It's okay, little brother. There are. All right. So ability. Snipers get the ability Headshot, and all that Headshot does is it adds a 25% bonus to the crit chain. Uh, it's a useful thing. It's pretty much what this does, except for they get an aim bonus too, and health. Just saying. Please don't kill this person. Alright, yay. Didn't even destroy his pepper. Hey, look at this more. I don't want you guys over there. You're not supposed to be over there. Don't be over there. Here we go. Enemy troops. Hey, look at there's six of them there. This is a moderate difficulty. I believe that's all of them then. So we have shown every single alien that we are going to find. First person I want to take a shot. Why don't you go after that one? I need you to start hitting those. Damn it. Miss the target. Alright. So let's see, how far can you go? You can go all the way back there, that'd be suicide. Where are your shots like? 58. 30, 50, 50. And you, oh, where can you go? You can get all the way back there. Run them down. And we'll just hope that we don't unlock any other secret characters. Alright, so remember what I said about shotguns? Look at 22% on the other side of the room. 50%, 50%, 50%, 86. So close. But, oh, buddy, do I do that? Okay, 
So I actually have to move her. So we can kill two, two, that'll give us two, which gives us one guy left who should be able to come over here. How far can you go? You can run and gun, so you can go all the way over to here and shoot him. Hopefully not be part of the two damage club. Let's give it a shot. Will this plan work? Nope. Damn it. Not Enemy at is still alive. All. Well, now we're in a new pickle. Still gonna do it. You two can die. She'll still have cover. We didn't blow up the wall. All of the important things are holding up. Why don't you just go ahead and take this shot then? And you can't do it either. Damn it, missed the target. So my team has no aim. I mean, can you really hurt, penalize them too much for that? I'm... That guy with the shotgun? Yeah, he's gonna die. Maybe not. What? My mind is blown. That had to be like a 90% shot at the minimum. I mean, they're right there on us. You should have a terrible shot. Somebody please explain to me what the aliens are doing. You shouldn't have a very good shot either. Okay, you guys see this guy with the shotgun? He has earned a nickname. I'm not letting any of you give him a nickname. That is the bullet dodger. Alright, so you, please take this shot. Thank you. Oh, it was that one too. Alright, so we're down to two of them now. I don't even know how to say anything. He literally dodges bullets. 100% chance. X-ray down. Sorry, I know I said I would let you guys rename people, but that one is the bullet dodger. So. Thank you. You're not part of the two damage down. club? Another day. I like that Another guy. Successful operation. We just managed to do that without losing anybody after I completely expected to lose at least one. I'm happy. Our sniper won't get leveled up, our salt may will. Looks like they're really oh, taking nobody care will. Of business down there. And and she's only got so seven kills and survived all of the missions. Alright, so we get that new facility, the laboratory. And you get the laboratory in the workshop by having more than five engineers. I don't know if it's six, seven, or eight, but I know that just by having that many, you do actually get the ability to build the laboratory and the workshop. And each of those Remember, I should probably have gone over. We'll be watching. Yeah, watch me all you want, creeper. Each of those will give you five of whatever. So this will give this will actually give five scientists. This will give five engineers. Hmm. Maybe this just speeds it up. Yeah. And it's of whatever that is. So two laboratories gives you a 50% increase. So. Or at least close enough to one. Uh, let's see. As the alien attacks have become more frequent, yeah, we should start screening candidates, climbed. but we can Our still only have four people in the eighth enough. We should start screening potential candidates at the barracks immediately. So, as I mentioned, Suddenly, that time frame, remember this was seven days, and this was twelve, well now two days are missing, so. Supersonic time speed up, show this. This is our alien containment unit, which we could already see. Every single alien that we have in the game will be held in one of those, specifically that one. And 
and get to the arc door, get to the arc door. Yes. All right. There we have our arc door. This is how we're going to have to get into close range, mind you, to capture aliens. First alien we want, we haven't seen yet. I'm going to go for this because that alien hasn't showed up. I take that back. This will be I our first appreciate time. your efforts to support the research It'll take team five Amanda. days unless we catch that alien. We're receiving a transmission from the council coming on screen. All right, so they're going to give us a new recruit, a support character who's a sergeant, which will be enough to do what we need, and panic reduction. I kind of want to give them the big finger. And it's in Brazil. Brazil. Why couldn't it be anywhere with yellow? Oh, well. And it's an escort mission. Let's see what's going on. Received an interesting report that a politician from Brazil who once advocated cooperation with the aliens has now come under attack. Wait, 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 wait. So somebody who, who tried to have a Mars attacks moment literally had a Mars attacks moment. Don't let go of the dove next time. Uh, we'd like you to retrieve this man alive so that we may speak with him. You mean you want to torture and kill him? Okay. Go military programs. We will transmit specific details of his position to Central. Sure. Be happy I would need people. Excellent. We look forward to seeing Are heavy your yet? Progress. Back yet? Nope. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the assault with then. Hmm. The question becomes, do I want to have them... Yeah, you can keep that. You need a nickname. My favorite character already. Use you for a demo on the mustaches. Prepare and for deployment, strike one. Brazilian authorities have requested right, our help. So we're going to do this one so and then we're going to call next. it. And I will be back with you all again later. Now, don't get in the habit of actually having two videos per day. The VIP for this operation goes hey, by look, the name we of William Thorne. From He's an influential politician side. suspected of collusion with the aliens. We need you to bring him in alive for questioning. Get him to the Sky Ranger for evening. Can't even be really the all that. Objective received. Yeah. Step one: make sure there's no aliens on the roof. There are no aliens on the roof. This is absurd. Step two, you sniper, high think ground. I would turn my back on my country? Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to give somebody the arc thrower. Boo. No problem. Alright, so snipers cannot move and overwatch at the same time. To fix this, switch to their pistols. You, go there. And get your head down. Alright, step two. Get back down. Sniper's the only one that needs to be up there. Or that I want up there, really. Uh, you can go... There. That'll give you an eye on both doors. Come in, sir. And why don't you go here, because next turn I want to be able to open up this door. I feel, Commander. Start killing anything that may be in there. That alien is unusually human in its appearance. Unusually there could be using human it as an seriously an acrobat. Of some kind. I'd recommend capturing it for further And the analysis. only person who has vision of it you have no right to do this. is the guy we're supposed to protect. On whose authority do you operate? We're going to do this. I understand he's an overwatch, but we can't get close enough. And you actually get a... Ah, uh, dope. Bullet dodger, what's wrong with you? You get a bonus for actually being able to, uh, or for actually dashing against that. So he actually had a defensive bonus. But for now, that'll that'll solve the problem that we just had. So because snipers are the way that they are, even though I'd love to actually be there, we have to move him up there. Go on, go on. 
There's another. Now the weapon that they have is interesting because it automatically gives a 10% bump or a, yeah, 10% shot at actually just killing whatever. So that is one thing to take into consideration. He's basically got better aim than we do. Nobody has better than a 30% chance. Well, nonetheless, why don't you go break yourself over there? I wonder, what's our sniper's actual aim on this guy? 55, alright. And next turn you'll be able to move there. Okay, for now... Play back there. Watch. Neither of you have a very good shot. I'd rather just keep him where he is. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that ability. They can poison you. Poison takes one damage per turn. Oh. I will not speak to anyone until I've Believe it also lowers your chance, yeah. You're in a fog, so it cuts your ability to actually, like, shoot by 20% as well. Um, so... I'm gonna overwatch him because it'll intimidate the Thin Man. Whoops, did I give his name away? Get you over there. 50. Are you still part of the club? Yep. Eventually, I do not know if you can throw a grenade that far. How far can you throw it right now? That far? Yeah, if we move you up there, you'll be able to do it. So, the two ways to actually click, there's a small circle there, if you're having trouble clicking, try and get your mouse into the middle of the smaller circle. I hate losing cover like that. Why don't you just go there? That'll stick you in the middle of all of us, and stick your head down. Apparently there's no shortcut. Still freaking out, man. Wigging out, man. Alright, so like before, I'm expecting all of the enemies to be on that side. Or other places. <laughs> so, for now, I'm gonna shove him right here. Civilian. Run. You, Overwatch. You. There. Got it covered. Sniper move up. I've got a visual. Oh hey, look, we found an enemy. Doesn't matter, she'd only dealt the two damage anyway. Come get some. Your head down. Strike one. You've got a wave of x-rays closing on your location. Eyes up. You know, typically that scares them into not wanting to move. Missed. Hmm. Shot failed to connect. You might die. Watch the sides. Whoa! Nope. Anything else get shown behind you? He landed. Alright, so headshot. Not with the pistol. Headshot. We have a 55% chance of hitting. If we hit, he should die. And we did not. But he earned a promotion. He will be a useful sniper soon.
Did I ever tell you how terrified I am of the fact that if I run up there... <coughs> Excuse me. If I run up here, the chances of me actually missing or not killing him... Run him down. Alright. 100% chance, 60% crit. Thank God. No longer a threat. <laughs> and it was another critical. Alright. Why don't you move up to there? And you can reload. They showed somebody outside of the sniper. Oh well. Alright. So, what's over here? Never actually seen this far over. Uh, put your head down. Yeah, you should be able to run in there next year. Spotted. Yep. An alien over there. Overwatch. Aye aye. Ready to rock. Enemy forces headed your way, Strike One. Get ready. Figures. I didn't think she'd be able to see him. damage. Oh my God. Anybody else just see that? She did three damage. I don't feel comfortable dropping it there yet. You can do that. Let's just do it with the pistol because we only need the one damage. like that. Um, something tells me you're going to get more Oh, no. Ugh. How good is your arm? Not that good. I expect him to be in Overwatch. So threw it over the building instead of just kind of sidearm lobbing it. Hey, look, you should be there. Where are you taking me? I demand answers. But you'll get on freely. Everybody hates the date in prison. Well done. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. We have sure. a new objective. Lots of windows. Time to kick this sucker off. Wow, they ran towards me. That never happens. Oh wait, I have a grenade. <laughs> Best day ever. Dear diary, jackpot. Executed to the numbers. <laughs> Get back here on the double. Forgot arc thrower. Still made it through the mission. It's only one person being shot, and that's the bullet dodger. We're surviving a little bit more. Oh. And we can now get an officer training school. 
Alright. She is about as good as she's going to get for what we need. We're going to go with defense, uh, tactical sense, plus 5 defense for your damage. This basically is a 5% chance that they'll miss up to 20%. Uh, every point of defense is 1% chance that they will miss. Uh, it is possible to have better than 100% aim, and that's simply because there are things that could reduce your aim. So, yeah. Nine days. Sniper took a shot too? Oh yeah, he got poisoned. Alright, so these are the two sniper abilities that actually matter. Uh, this one lets you move and then do things, which everybody thinks was is amazing when they first first get the game. But think about it this way, and it was it was pointed out in somebody else's let's play. What good is a frontline sniper compared to the one that can shoot you from behind the front line? All right, so seven days from now we'll have that. We will be in touch. Panic Remember. reduction in Brazil, eh? Hmm, my map looks almost the same. Alright, let's actually fix this. We were supposed to build one of these. Uh, still not building that. Let's see, weapon fragments five days out, satellites eight days. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on. Alright. Weapon fragment finished. Uh, next up, I'm gonna go for the thing that looks like armor. We've assembled everything we need to capture and house an alien for interrogation, Commander. The rest is up to our forces on the ground. Yep. Basically, you're saying I'm flying. Love you too, honey. Love you too. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready right. to deploy it on your orders. Now we can launch that whenever we want. What we want to make sure we do is launch it before the end of the month. So I think when we launch the satellite and we get to the council report, that's where I'll call it unless we get another alien attack. Stop that. Never mind my alarm. You hear nothing. Alright, so five days try new research get a nanofiber vest this will give you plus two health it attaches in the same slot as the grenade as you can tell by me willing to explain it instead of actually doing anything else I don't find them very useful uh, we're gonna go with experimental warfare and that's simply because we haven't seen the alien that we really want yet so, let's get to two days, so the situation room, by the way our sniper came back. Alright, so, we can launch anywhere. We already have this continent bonus, so it's not a big deal. The, uh, the big thing with the satellites is you want to try and make things as easy as possible on yourself. So, from the looks of this, man, this is going to be a lot of work. Like, this would be, this is essentially the best place for us to launch. Um, the reason is, we don't want any of these countries to actually like go up in panic, but if we see these and this, it's like we'll have a five that's in a random place and a place, places that we have to go to. But I guess in that theory, like we could take Russia, which would give us the most amount of money per month outside of the US, and get the scientist, the engineer, and have a butt ton of money to try and deal think with things next time. It doesn't seem too bad. Negative. That equipment should be passed on directly to the research team. My scientist or my satellite? What's he talking about? Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. I'm pretty sure that Dr. Bolin would be okay with that. So now we're getting three hundred and eight dollars. Suddenly satellite uplink looks a little more feasible. We're still one engineer short. So Incoming Bam! Transmission. You guys can see how that goes next time.